America's infrastructure is a strategic asset for our country in terms of economic expansion, job growth, quality of life. And America's business leaders know that we need to keep this asset maintained and upgraded in order for us to have that kind of job expansion. If we look at U.S. infrastructure, approximately two-thirds of it has reached its useful life. And sometime in the next five to 10 years, we'll need to be either upgraded or replaced. And that will cost somewhere between one and three trillion dollars. And now with difficult budgets and a difficult economic scenario, those kinds of funds aren't available anymore. And so there is a misconception that there's not enough money to upgrade our infrastructure. That's simply not true, however. And so what we have found is that there are plenty of mechanisms and available funding in private financing with institutional investors, with pension funds, with a variety, with, with broad infrastructure funds, with low interest loans in a wide variety of arenas where if we could get a better connection between the available amount of funding, in fact, that would cover the entire $3 trillion deficit. And so the Business Roundtable is taking a leading stance on this issue to try to facilitate national policies, national financing, better funding, and better connection between those people that need better infrastructure and those people that have the financing and the ability to provide it so that we can keep America strong and make it an economic advantage for this country for better jobs, better economic prosperity, and frankly, a better quality of life for our people.